Canadian Tui, officials said that all veteran delegates leaving their birthdays during the celebrations. Yang Kaito, Vice President of the Presiding of the Supreme Court Assembly of the DPLT, met and talked with the people and other members of the Evis Korean delegation to the celebrations of the 60th anniversary of the victory in the Great Parliament Liberation War at the Monthly Assembly Hall in Pyongyang on the 29th. Chair Bo, Chairman of the Supreme Chief's Assembly of the DPRT, met and talked with the parliamentary delegation of Italy, headed by Paolo Romani, Vice President of the Senate Group from the Czech Liberty, that paid the treaty's call on him at the Monsanto Assembly Hall in Pyongyang on July the 29th. The party and government delegation of the DPRT, headed by Chairman Chairman, member of the political bureau and secretary of the Central Committee of the Workers' Party of Korea, left Pyongyang by air on July 29 to visit Ecuadorian Guinea. The delegation of the Switzerland Korea Committee, or vice chairman of the British Association for Friendship with Korea, and the delegation of the Korean Friendship Association, the Victory Day celebrations. This is the total motto of the South Korean Anti-Imperialist National Democratic Fund. Representative So Il Min and members of the mission talked with the guests. Delegation of the Republic of Uganda, headed by Vice President Edward Chiwanuka Sekandi, and delegation of the Republic of Zambia, headed by Vice President Guy Ho, the celebration of the 60th anniversary of the victory in the Great Fatherland Liberation War, returned to home on July 29. Yang Chong Suk, Vice President of the Presidium of the Supreme People's Assembly of the DPRK, and officials concerned, sent them up at the airport. That day, the delegation of the Syrian Arab Republic and the foreign delegations and delegates returned to home by air. The Council of the Pandemic for reunification in the North and the Preparatory Committee of the Congress of History of National Independence and the Council of the Condemnation for Peaceful Reunification in the South issued the joint appeal on the 29th of the 108th anniversary of the fabrication of the Dutra Pact Agreement, according to which the sacred territory of Korea and the destiny of the nation was handed down by Japan. Appeal said the Gatsura Taft Agreement suffices to prove the historical fact that the United States and Japan completely infringed upon the sovereign rights of the Korean nation in conspiracy, according to the imperialist logic of the Lord of the Jungle. The appeal said more than 80 national organizations, including the Council of the Tangan Nation for Peaceful Reunification, the Society of the Korean Families of the Meritorious Independence Campaigners, and the South Korean Federation of National Muslim Organizations and Patriotic Religious Representatives would stand in the van of the anti-Japanese struggle and resolutely oppose any form of war on the Korean Peninsula. Organizations of global sections, students, citizens, and visitors 